My name is Mick Mazzocchi and I'm situated here on a family farm. We're southwest of the Rock, about 10 kilometres. I farm here with my wife Bryony and three young children. So a mixed farm enterprise where we've got wheat, canola and barley. Um, and then we've also run a sheep enterprise as well. The machine behind me, that's a Morris C2 contour seeder. I purchased that about seven years ago. One of the primary reasons why I brought that was it's a parallelogram, which basically means that every tine is independent, which suits my country here where we've got some variations and we're also, like I said, a mixed farming enterprise. So you do get some up and down in the country. So every single tine, regardless of the height of the ground, is still sowing in at the same depths. And it's a knife point press wheel which allows me to, you know, if we're using highish rates of treflans and uh, other chemicals, I can, um, yeah, I'm able to go into that with that minimum till system. The biggest advantage is if we do have marginal starts, uh, the knife point press wheel certainly doesn't disturb the soil too much and on marginal moisture we're able to get canolas and, and cereals out of the ground when with, uh, with my other systems that I had previous probably wouldn't. I was on 12 inch spacings prior to this, but I've gone back to 10 inch and the main reason behind that is probably to help with a little bit of the weeds maybe on 12 inch. I found I was getting quite a few weeds coming through late in crops, so I've gone back to the 10 inch spacings, but I still find that that is wide enough that I can still get through quite a bit of stubble. So I can manage stubbles with this machine with up to probably four ton stubbles. I'm able to get through them without having to burn. The other pair of abilities are that you're not um, going too quick and, and throwing too much soil. Yeah, you know, history sort of tells me that as long as I'm under 10 kilometres an hour, it seems to do a really good job. When I'm sowing canolas or small seeds, I will come back to around about eight kilometres an hour because it's really important we don't bury them and get any soil throw. And the same when I'm using high rates of any uh, treflans or herbicides that can be uh, dangerous to the emergence of the seed, I will make sure I come back. Then when I'm saying the cereals, I will probably come up to about nine kilometres an hour. Uh, you do get a little bit of soil throw, but not too much, doesn't affect it. If you do get into the heavier country, you do probably need to slow down a little bit because it is a lot harder on the machine and it will probably break up a bit more. So when I'm adjusting the depth, it's easily done on every every time by this little wheel here. So in theory, every every notch is basically six mil uh, in, in depth variation. Um, so it's as simple as all I do is pull the pin out, roll the wheel one or two or whatever I need, put the pin back in. It's a really easy way to, and, and quite quick, and, and I can quickly check, and if I think it's a bit deep or a bit shallow, I just simply do it on that, because you'll find across the board that they, they all are a little bit different. I, I put both seed and fertiliser down the front shoot or I put it out the back shoot for the small seeds which then just allows me to dig a deeper furrow, it backfills it and sits the small seeds in the shallower depths and the press wheel you know, just pushes in that soil contact. This particular season we had a really dry start for the canola, there was moisture down a little bit so being able to put that seed at the right depth where there is moisture um, so you are able to get that strike in the, in the time frame that you really need, you can't bury it too much but you also want to find that moisture if it is there. But everything does wear out over time. It's been fantastic. I got about 12,000 acres out of the press wheels before I had to change them over last season. And then uh, this year, the, the points are certainly due for changing. So they've got about 15,000 acres out of them. Due to some issues with freight and different things, I wasn't able to get the points in time for this season. But with the uh, every time being independent, the ones that were wearing out, I'm able to adjust that appropriately. So they're still sowing into the right depth, even though they are probably shorter than, than all the other ones. So um, it is good, this system here, you can change that independently and still get a good sowing depth across the, across the board.